When we open up uh, 3ds Max, this is the default view that we see. Uh, yours uh, could be a little bit different because this is uh, resized for the video purposes. But in general, you get these four windows and this modifier list uh, on the right, and these tools uh, on the upper uh, part of the window. First of all, I like to do is just to select this perspective uh, view and uh, press Alt W to make it the only one uh, seen. And so I have a much larger uh, canvas to work on. And if I want to change the views, I just press F for the front view, T for the top view. Uh, L for the uh, for the left view, and if I want to use some other uh, views, I just press V on the keyboard, and then just select the appropriate uh, view that I am looking for. Or you can remember the letter that is underlined, and this is the shortcut for that view. So the next thing I like to do is just press here on this plus sign and go to configure viewports and I like to uh, deselect uh, select brackets and turn on display selected with edge faces that's my prefer personal preference but uh, you can leave it as it is uh, and I like to use shaded uh, view because it works better for my taste so the next thing is uh, I like to go to customize and unit setup and I like to uh, use metric units uh, so I get the real world measurements uh, put in when I model so I select here centimeter centimeters and under system unit setup I also select centimeters pressing OK and then right click on snap tool to open this window up and under, under home grid I select grid spacing every 10 centimeters and major lines every 10th grid line. This way when I turn on the grid pressing G on the keyboard I get this nice uh, looking grid that the each, each quad is 10 centimeters large. So I get quickly get a feeling when I'm modeling uh, how large the model is. So next thing, I like to use some uh, custom modifier sets. Uh, if you click here on this sign under modifier list, you get another window uh, that is not seen. Let me move this. And you just click on configure modifier sets and another window will pop up. Probably this will be uh, something uh, different for you uh, because I have this preset and the main thing is you can set the number of buttons here using these uh, arrows and then just uh, look in this modifier list and if you want to add another button to it then just find it and click and drag it and let it go and if you want to uh, reposition it then just click and drag it on the position you want it to be. Remember if you uh, decrease the value of buttons the last one will be deleted. So if you want to save these sets you just name it and save it. And when you click OK nothing really happens but if you click again on this configure modifier sets and click on show buttons you can see you have this list of uh, shortcuts for modifiers uh, right here. You don't have to go in and search them uh, when you apply when you want to apply them to, the, to your models on the canvas. So this would be uh, probably the main things that I change when I'm uh, trying to do uh, some uh, modeling. And maybe on the rendering gamma and LUT setup I use enable gamma and LUT correction 2.2 for gamma and for input and output gamma also 2.2 and this
this is checked effect color selectors and effect material editor and then I'm set for modeling so this is it for this lesson